The opener 21st rank Auburn facing Mississippi State. That is Cameron Newton through for five touchdowns last week against Arkansas State. Newton 11 and 19 for 136 yards connecting there to Emery Blake. Auburn up seven zip. Take another look. Great block by Terrell Zachary. That allowed Blake to run 39 yards for the score. By the way, Newton at 6'6", 250, is a junior. He also ran for 70. Fourth quarter, less than a minute to go. Mississippi State down three. Chris Welch to Leon Berry, who just simply drops it. Yeah, Welch's numbers weren't great. 12 to 25 for 110, but, you know, if his receivers caught the ball, they would have improved. Fourth and 10, last shot for Welch and company. Not to be. Barry is disappointed, I'm afraid. Auburn hangs on. They're 17 and 1 in the last 18 SEC openers. West Virginia at Marshall. Mary Jane Tolley, the widow of Marshall's 1970 head coach Rick Tolley, attending her first game since that 1970 plane crash. Second quarter, Marshall up 7 3. Ryan Clark gets stuffed here for no gain. Omar Brown and Mario Harvey make the tackle. Huge stop for Marshall. Turnover on downs. Very next play from scrimmage for the Thundering Herd, Brian Anderson. Has all day going for it all. Has one-on-one -on -one coverage up top. Hits Aaron Dobson. Dobson is gone. at 96-yard touchdown. Take a closer look. Did Dobson drop the ball before he crossed the goal line? Looks like the ball is coming out before he broke the plane. Officials never saw it. Touchdown stands. Anderson threw three TD passes. Early fourth, Marshall up 21-6. Red zone, trying to put the game out of reach. Tron Martinez loses it, and West Virginia recovers. Oh, Doc Holliday. Yikes. West Virginia still alive. 224 left. 21-13 game. Geno Smith escaping the pocket. This is a sophomore in his second career start. He scrambled for 20 yards. Fourth and one must convert to keep it alive. Smith hitting Noel Devine. Devine 112 yards rushing on 23 carries. Smith hitting Tavon Austin. Good blocking. That's another 14 yards down the field. Down to the Marshall 24. Now second and goal. Geno Smith buying time. Looks like a senior. Hits Will Johnson who does get one foot down for the score. West Virginia, though, still needs the two-point conversion to die. That was a 98-yard drive. Two-point conversion out. Geno Smith, back of the end zone. Jock Sanders tiptoes the end line. Conversion is good. We're tied. We head to overtime. After West Virginia conver converted a field goal on their opening possession, fourth down, Marshall trying to send it to the second OT. Tyle Warner misses the 40-yard field goal. West Virginia wins in overtime here. Houston, Kevin Sumlin and the Cougars taking on the Miners. Cougars down 7-zip. Case Keenum faking to the running back and throwing deep to Patrick Edwards, who's just waiting for a 61-yard gain. That led to a four-yard touchdown run. We're tied at seven. Later in the first, third and six for Houston. We get the telestration out. Miners playing the pass. They have six players lined up outside the box. No one over the center. Bryce Bell gets the ball, runs up the middle. He shakes off defenders. That's a 35-yard gain. Three TDs, 195 yards for Bell. Cougars up 14-7. 30 seconds left in the half. Michael Hayes. Hayes, one of his three touchdowns. Cougars up 31-10 at the half. Third quarter, scary moment for the Cougars as Keenum goes down on an interception. In the end, the Cougars would win 54-24, 643 yards of total offense. More college football now with Chris Fowler, the game day crew.